Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning in for another episode. So in this video we are going to be talking about um, removing scratches on an acrylic aquarium. So the tank that I purchased came with a lot of deep scratches and um, in order to get this properly removed um, I basically have to do uh, a combination of uh, wet sanding as well as using a specific three-step process that is um, specifically made for acrylic, uh, acrylic um, uh, fish tanks. So this is going to be taking a lot of time and many hours of work, multiple days of work. But at the end of the day, I think the results will uh, make a big difference. So I'm going to show you exactly what I uh, do for each step and uh, what equipment I'm using. And uh, hopefully if you ever purchase a tank cheap on Craigslist or anywhere else, a used tank and it comes with a bunch of scratches, uh, following my instructions, you'll be able to make it look as new. All right. So I'm going to get started and I hope you'll follow along. Alright, so now I wanted to go over some of the uh, pieces that we're going to be using to sand this tank down. So the first product we're going to use is a 1000 grit sandpaper. This will get rid of the deepest of the scratches on this tank. And then we're going to follow up uh, with the 2000 grit sandpaper, which will uh, remove any uh, scratches that this one actually creates. And from that step on, we're going to move to this three-step acrylic um, sanding system. Uh, we're going to start with step three, so three to one, instead of one to three. Um, this uh, green bottle here will uh, help remove the deepest of the scratches left behind by the 2000 grit sandpaper. From that point on, we're going to move to step two, which uh, goes to remove the finer scratches left behind. And then this last uh, step here will get rid of anything that is still left behind. Um, when it comes to the sander, we are going to be using this uh, Dewalt sander. And I chose to go with the uh, cordless version. Uh, the reason for that is um, when you sand an acrylic tank down, you have to lose a lot of water because um, the sanding creates a lot of heat and you don't want the acrylic uh, to be melting while you're sanding it down. So um, when you use water in an electrical uh, piece of equipment like this, there's always a chance of getting electrocuted. <laughs> so I decided to use the battery version of this uh, Dewalt sander and not the corded version uh, because this is going to be a little bit safer for me to uh, sand this tank down while I'm spraying the glass uh, with water. Okay, and uh, that's pretty much all you need to uh, sand down an acrylic fish tank. Now I'm actually inside the tank and you can see it's pretty hazy so we're going to have to do a lot of sanding and I'm also going to do a lot of vacuuming to get any of the fine sands that's still left um, out of this tank so it doesn't get accidentally uh, caught up in my uh, sandpaper and actually add scratches to the acrylic glass and yeah but it feels kind of weird to be in here but uh, gives me a good idea of how much space know what the fish will eventually have but uh, yeah if you ever get a tank like this I recommend uh, going inside at least once <laughs> all right let's do it
Step one of the sanding process is completed. Um, so I just finished the outside as well as the inside of the tank, as well as the top. So this step removed basically the most uh, deep, the deepest scratches. And from here on out, everything is going to be uh, taking care of any fine scratches that are left behind by the sandpaper itself. So all this white haze that you see. And uh, there are some spots like this one right here, which is pretty deep. So I'm not sure if I can get rid of that, maybe fill it in with something. Um, but other than that, the majority of the scratches are gone. So you can see some white spots here. And that means there's like a dent in the tank, like a very small dent. And uh, but once this is filled with water, uh, you should not be seeing any of this at all. All right, so next step will be uh, 2000 grit sandpaper, and then we will switch to the three stage um, acrylic glass uh, scratch removal process. Okay, I'm finally done sanding this tank down. So we used a 1000 grit sandpaper uh, on the outside as well as the inside. And then we used the 2000 grit sandpaper for the finer scratches and whatever scratches the 1000 grit sandpaper created uh, on the acrylic glass. So I think it came out really well. There's some small spots that didn't come out because uh, they were just too deep, but uh, the next step will be to use this Novus three step system. So we're gonna start with the heavy scratch remover. You're gonna put that on a cutting pad. And then we are going to switch to the fine scratch remover for which we're going to use this uh, buffing pad. And then this one is basically just like a, a glass cleaner. Uh, you just wipe it every now and then to keep the glass looking good. Okay, so that's what's, what we're gonna be doing next. <laughs> 